Hello and welcome to another Glen Maney Talks Chelsea and today it was Chelsea 3, Luton 1 and um, yeah you can only beat what you've got in front of you. Uh, Luton to be fair, I'll take my hat off to them, worked really hard, well organised, um, looked a threat without having that much quality uh, up front. And, um, yeah, the, their goal, maybe Kepa should have, uh, well, not maybe, Kepa should have stayed, but it was Kepa. And the second half, he redeemed himself, to be fair. Um, he, uh, he made an excellent save in the uh, in the second half. So, all right, well, maybe that one deserved to go in and, and uh, the first one shouldn't. It was poor, it was poor keeping, but there we go. Cool. feel a bit sorry for the boy. 70 million price tag on his back must be weighing heavy because he's definitely not even the keeper that we first got anyway let's be positive um it was only Luton I'm not gonna go crazy but tempo was better the effort was a hundred percent better and uh, maybe some of those players out there needed to redeem themselves um most did some still had a little bit of a a dodgy game but the effort was there and you know what when the efforts there that's all I really asked for um, with the amount of make money that those players are worth and get paid we could do with a bit of quality got it in patches um, but at least it's a step in the right direction but we need to keep that effort up on Wednesday against Wolves and then against uh, Burnley next weekend so, um, Gilmore got a start, uh, little Billy Gilmore, and I know Tammy got three, so it's terribly unfair, but Gilmore just edged Mason Mount for my man of the match. Um, I know Tammy is the official man of the match. I can see why he gets a hat trick. You know my feelings on Tammy. He was playing against players that I think are the class that he does show up against and um, a still still doesn't attack space. He doesn't attack space. Um, his first one was an excellent finish. Top, top striker's finish after some good work by Werner, who, who incidentally was, was really good today. I felt so sorry for him. That, that penalty didn't go in because he deserved a goal today. Um, and I think if he hadn't been fouled, he would have got it. Um, yeah, so Tammy, um, first one, excellent. Second one, he outmuscled the centre-half. Again, the centre-half, this is where Tammy normally misses out against Premiership opposition because the centre-halves are generally stronger, more committed um, and... Tammy don't normally get a look in, he normally gets out muscled. But today he could out muscle the, the centre half, took his header well, and the third one I probably could have put in. Um, but well done to the lad. He, uh, a hat trick's a hat trick against anyone, and um, and yeah, he, he proved me wrong today. But uh, he's got to start attacking space because we are just missing out on too many chances when the centre forward isn't doing that. So, yeah, I'm only going to keep it short today. Kepa, um, well, I'll, I'll score him. Kepa, I'm going to give Kepa a six. Um, the goal, as I've said before, a good part of keeper would have saved it. But then he redeemed himself with an excellent save in the second half. Not much else to, to do, really, in that game. Um, distribution was okay. One dodgy pass that could have resulted in a goal against quality opposition but no I give him a I give him a six Reese James gets a six still not firing all cylinders but the lad has come back from injury and I slaughtered him the other night and quite rightly so today the effort was there um, the passing got better in the second half first half was first man syndrome again but not just Reese James Christensen, uh, again, didn't really have an awful uh, 
awful lot to do. What, what he did do, which I did like, was forward balls. So Christensen did okay. Um, Zuma, yeah, I think Zuma's very unlucky to be missing out to, to Rudiger. And uh, today he was dominant in the air. And uh, it was pretty sound on the, on the ground as well. It looked like he had a nasty injury, but but ran it off. Um, I, think it did, I didn't score Christensen, did I? Well, Christensen gets a six and a half. Uh, Zuma gets a seven. Um, Emerson on the uh, left back, he did okay. Did all right. Defensively, did well. Um, was always an outlet. For a guy that hasn't played lately, I thought he did. I thought he did very well indeed. I give him a six and a half. Mount, who was captain today, um, and quite rightly so in the absence of, of Silva, um, was superb again everywhere. Um, tries to make things ha happen. Generally positive. Got back. Lots of uh, lots of tackling. Um, that goes unnoticed. Just a, a, a really good performance, and he gets a an eight from me. Um, Billy Gilmore. Um, my personal um, man of the match gets eight point five. I thought he always available, always available to lad. Really clever footballer. I think we look a lot better with him in midfield. To me, I'd have Kante. Um, Gilmore and, uh, and 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 Mount to be fair um, when we're when we're playing the the three there but today um, so yeah Gilmore he gets uh, an eight and a half from me Werner who was playing um, behind Abraham I thought had a, an excellent game today I thought he worked really really hard shame about the penalty miss um, looked nice and sharp he gets a seven point five from me. Ziyech, first half, I well, first half of the first half, I just, I was shaking my head. I just thinking how, how one-footed he was. But in the second half, a couple of really nice dribbles, a couple of really nice balls, and, and did everything that's good about Hakim Ziyech. Uh, he gets a 7.5 from me today. Pulisic on the other side, uh, unlucky with a, a couple. Um... Again, I think sometimes he works too hard, uh, tries too hard. Uh, worked really hard, put a shift in, gets a seven from me. And Tammy, can't really argue with a uh, hat trick. You know my thoughts, he doesn't attack space. I think that proved it again today, but he got three goals. It doesn't matter about the opposition. So Tammy gets an eight from me today. Callum Hudson and Doyle when he came on. Like chalk and cheese to the other night. The other night he was just lazy, lacked energy. I don't know if it's the quality of the opposition or, or, or what. I don't know if it's a confidence issue. But today against Luton, he was everything that he wasn't against um, against Leicester. So the lad's uh, a mystery to me, honestly. But he came on, he made a real difference. He looked... He looked sharp, he looked up for it. And if that's the Callum Hudson Adoy that that we're gonna get more regularly, then uh, then he'll, he'll deserve more minutes after the Leicester game. I'm still disgusted in him, I'll be honest. But he's redeemed himself a bit today. So yeah, that was it. We um, we controlled the game. We obviously had most of the possession. Luton always looked uh, adventurous shall i say without being a, a total threat um they had the goal that shouldn't have gone in and the um the the save from kepper other than that um not a not a lot of danger so yes onwards and upwards it's a quick one today because there's not a lot to say really uh, we outclassed them they fought hard and um you can only beat what's in front here. I'm looking forward to the Wolves game to see how we compete uh, and how much effort we put in against Premiership opposition because we need to stick to this gear that we got into today and then raise it another two if we're going to beat Wolves and then we're going to beat Burnley. Both both tough customers as we know. Burnley beat Liverpool the other night. Uh, Wolves have had some decent results lately after a pretty poor start to the season by their own standards. And um, 
we need to to put our foot on the throttle and Frank needs now to make sure that, that this lot show that they're playing for him. That's all from me. Onwards and upwards. Speak to you after the, uh, the Wolves game. Up to Chelsea.